Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading uh, for Cancer. This is going to be for new love, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for uh, February 2022. Um, so Cancer, these are for you guys that are currently uh, just, you just started talking to someone new, started dating someone new, or that you just started with, uh, started a new relationship with somebody. So we're just going to take a look at um, what this person is currently thinking and feeling towards you. And then we'll finish off to read to see what this person's long-term intentions are towards you. So feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Um, keep in mind that these are general messages. Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message uh, resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Cancer, let's get started. Uh, tell me about the new person or new love that Cancer is dealing with here. What are they thinking and feeling towards Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for February 2022. Cancer. One more. Okay. Okay, we have the devil in the reverse. Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn here, um, Cancer. You might even have Capricorn in your chart. I mean, Capricorn, you might not know this, but, you know, I feel like this person does not want to deal with a toxic relationship anymore, okay? I don't know if this person sees you as toxic. I don't know if this person's getting over a past relationship that was toxic, but I feel like this person, you know, might walk away, okay? This person might walk away trying to continue their path of healing and not going back, Um we have a page of pentacles and the three of cups here. So this person could still be exploring other options here, Cancer, okay? Now keep in mind, this could be you. Like I said, you could switch the roles if you want. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the devil in the reverse. Tell me about the devil in the reverse. We have a strength card, Leo energy. You know, I feel like this person is building, I feel like this person's trying to gain the courage to walk away from something or energy that they don't want to deal with or energy that doesn't belong to them. Okay. Tell me about the uh, Four of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. Uh, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy. This is interesting because I feel like this person right now is more comfortable being by themselves than actually uh, being in a relationship or dating here, okay? Uh, the star. We have the emperor here, Aries energy. Tell me about the eight of cups. Five of wands. This is interesting. I mean, you could place yourself where you see fit. Either get this pre empress energy or this emperor here. So this emperor is walking away from the drama. I mean, both of you guys could be walking away from the drama because maybe there's a some sort of familiarity between you and this person here. Okay? You know, sometimes what seems familiar is a red flag. You know? Page of Pentacles. We have a Hierophant, Three of Cups. Okay, Hierophant, Taurus energy, could be dealing with the Taurus. 
and um, three of cups and the seven of cups here. Okay. So we have someone here that's looking to explore other options. Seems as though, you know, maybe you guys met each other. And like I said, there's some sort of familiarity here. And I feel like you guys are both walking away from this. You know, you guys are not looking to commit or anything like that. I just feel like maybe you guys just want to be friends, have a good time, still explore other options. All right, let's see what else we have here. Um, tell me about the person, the new love, or the new person that uh, Cancer is dealing with here. What are their long-term intentions with Cancer? The Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for February 2022. Nine of Swords, okay. Page of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Nine of Swords here. And the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. We have the Two of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles, okay. Queen of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Energy. So the person that's walking, I, you know, I feel like both of you guys are walking away from each other, but, you know, I feel like this person, you know, I, I feel like this person's not going to let you go. I do feel like this person's going to juggle you. Um, I do feel like this person stress, suffers from a lot of stress and anxiety, okay? Um, you know, I do feel like it, it might turn into a game. It might turn into a game. It might turn into a situation where it's sort of like a friends with benefits sort of situation here. Okay? Um, so let's see. Nine of Swords. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So lots of messages here. Four of Cups. Ace of Swords. In the Six of Swords. I do feel like this person does suffer from some sort of depression, okay? Um, you know, we have that double card in the reverse. I feel like this person, you know, has left that behind, but I still feel like it might linger around this person. Page of Wands. Page of Wands and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. There you are. Could be dealing with another Cancer here. I would just be careful around this person. I do feel like it could be a bit gamey. I do feel like, you know, someone here tells lies here, okay? Um, two of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. There is definitely some sort of concern here surrounding money with this person here, too. So with that Nine of Pentacles, this is telling me that this person can't really stand on their own two feet. I mean, this person tried to gain some sort of control here, but you know, I do feel like maybe this person could come off a bit abusive, okay? I do feel like this person might have been abused as a kid. You could have been abused as a kid too. Like I said, there's a bit of a familiarity here, and that's a red flag. Four of Pentacles. Five of Cups. You know, there's definitely some sort of disappointment surrounding this or some sort of regret, okay? Um, yeah, you see, I feel like both of you guys are sort of on the same boat or do you, both of you guys have mirroring stories. So look at that. We have the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords here. So both of you guys could have gone through a lot in life. Um, Let's see, Queen of Wands, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I, I just feel like we have a queen here or a feminine energy that's extremely guarded. Uh, Knight of Swords, I do feel like this person's gonna rush in and out of your life. I do feel like this person might breadcrumb you a little bit. Like I said, I do feel like there's a bit of abuse uh, going on here, some mind games, okay? Some lies, deception here. Yeah, this person's really in and out. I feel like this person will rush in and out whatever it's, it's convenient for them. 
I do feel like this person's going to make some false promises here, uh, telling you that they want a relationship, but I feel like they're going to blow it up with lies and secrets. Okay, so like I said, there is a bit of familiarity with this individual. Like, I feel like you've gone through this before, and I feel like you're seeing it again. And I feel like, you know, you are walking away from this. I, both of you guys are walking away from each other, but I feel like this person's going to, you know, keep keep you around. I feel like this person might juggle you. I feel like, you know, this person might come in for some sexy time or something like that. All right. So, um, Cancer, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.